the meeting with Putin, I was very straightforward. There were no minced words. It was polite, but I made it very clear. If, in fact, he invades Ukraine, there will be severe consequences. Severe consequences. Economic consequences like none he's ever seen or ever have been seen in terms of being imposed. He knows his immediate response was he understood that, and I indicated that I knew he would respond. But beyond that, if in fact we would probably also be required to reinforce our our presence in NATO countries to reassure particularly those in the Eastern Front. In addition to that, I made it clear that we would provide the defensive capability to the uh, Ukrainians as well. The good news is, the good news, the positive news is that thus far our teams have been in constant contact. We hope by Friday we're going to be able to say and announce to you that we're having meetings at a higher level, not just with us, but with at least four of our major NATO allies and Russia to discuss the future of Russia's concerns relative to NATO writ large and whether or not we can work out any accommodations as it relates to bringing down the temperature along the Eastern Front. Could U.S. troops be needed on the ground in or around Ukraine to stop an invasion? Will you rule that out or is that on the table? That is not on the table. What is not on, they are not, we have a moral obligation and a legal obligation to our NATO allies if they were to attack under Article 5, it's a sacred obligation. That obligation does not extend to NATO, I mean to Ukraine, but it would depend upon what the rest of the NATO countries were willing to do as well. But the idea the United States is going to unilaterally use force to confront Russia invading Ukraine is not on the, in the cards right now. But what will happen is there will be severe consequences that will have Sir, you've known Vladimir Putin for years. Are you confident that he got the message and knows this is different? I am absolutely confident he got the message.